Kia ora whanau, Kip Muir here, the Raw HQ podcast. We've got another guest today, and it's our very own Josh Hall. What's your middle name, bro? <laughs> Too many, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Danger Hall. <laughs> We've got our own coach here. This co- coach Cookie is uh, <coughs> our specialist sort of work capacity man, so he, he's been programming our Wednesday sessions on the ERGs. Um, and today we're just going to catch up a little bit about uh, what he's got in store for 2021 in terms of his goals inside and outside the gym. We're going to touch on a bit of your background, bro, and uh, your, your athletic well, background as well. <laughs> no, you'll be all good. And, uh, <laughs> and then I guess we'll touch on a little bit of mindset stuff because I think that's a pretty good area of yours, your mental resilience, that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, mm. So <laughs> tell us... Uh, Tell us a little bit about where you're from, bro, and uh, your sort of background. True. Um, yep, so my name's Josh. Kia ora, everyone. Um, everyone knows me by Cookie. Uh, got that from the bro, James McGugan. Shout out Back to Googs. Cheer Googs. Born in Rotorua, but raised in Tauranga. Um, did all my schooling here, uh, footy, everything like that. Um, yeah, live with my grandparents for a little bit. Uh, through my college years, and yeah, played s- touring of sports with Kepa um, for a few years now, a mm. um, few base seasons with him as well, and I yeah, was lucky enough to um, be asked by him and Kaz to come and coach um, after lockdown, and yeah, jumped on the opportunity to yeah, get on that buzz. Obviously, I've <coughs> been kind of wanting to do it for a little while now, um, but yeah, that opportunity arose uh, post-COVID, and yeah, we're here. We're good. So, uh, you went to, you went to Tauranga Boys, eh? Correct. So, uh, Correct. And when, you're at, when you're at high school, you're quite into volleyball as well as football, eh? Yeah, uh, what so... Did, what other sports did you play? Or was that the two main ones? Yeah, it was, yeah, Cricket obviously. or what? Damn. Ross Taylor. Yes. <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, I played a little bit of volley um, through through high school. Um, played a little bit of age age group stuff uh, with volleyball as well. Went away to Australia with the New Zealand uh, under-17 team, which was, was pretty cool. And obviously first 15 stuff, Tauranga boys, um, Bay Plenty age, groups, age group stuff. And uh, yeah, and so the team as well. How come you got into volleyball, bro? I don't know, I've, one of the coaches just asked if I wanted to, to have a jam and yeah, I guess it's completely opposite to, to footy but yeah, um, Plus you're, like, it. you're like four foot five so <laughs> hey, yes. can you jump Still or? tougher than you but <laughs> Can you jump quite high? Though? Yeah, I've got, oh, back in the day you know. Or were you just the, the young <laughs> set? I was, I was the old setter, <laughs> couldn't jump <laughs> my, my, my hands are about that far above the net <laughs> but no, yeah, no. Um, I guess I played volleyball just, um, you know, everyone had the, the summer and winter sports. Mm. Um, volleyball, yeah, kind of gravitated towards oh. volley a little bit more. Um, mm. And then, yeah, obviously, um, footy during the, the winter season, which was, yeah, my main sport, really. Yeah, right. Mm. So, ha- do you, how many years did you play first 15 at Tauranga Boys? Uh, so, I played I played three years first 15. Oh, yeah. Um, which was, yeah, it was a pretty awesome experience. Oh. Yeah, you had some some pretty good players. Um, yeah, who did you play along? Who was in your, in that sort of era? Mm, uh, we had Luke Braid. Um, oh, yeah. He was our captain in sixth form. Um, yeah, Brady was <laughs> the man back in the day. He was, oh. he was the big name going around back then. Um, and during seventh form, we didn't really have uh, too many, yeah. Big dogs. Yeah, big dogs on the team, but... Um, our claim to fame was, I think we beat Gizzy that year, and they ended up winning top four. So they had players like Charlie Nato and mm. Brendan O'Connor, and yeah. Did you play that was our boys. Hamilton boys and Rotorua boys? In yeah. That? So How we. Did you just go uh, there? Oh well, what was the best year? Was it six one? Your six one year. Seven form year, we we had a pretty good year. We finished second in the Super Eight, right. um, and Hamilton boys had the likes of Tawera and. And yeah. all those fellas, so they had a pretty gun team, but yeah, we were, we were pretty proud that year to finish finish second, which was a pretty big achievement back then, oh. um, for us anyway. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty mean. Um, so then, like, because you went into the steamer setup real young, eh? Uh, yep, so straight out of school, I kind of um, was lucky enough to get a contract with them. Um, I'd been through the... How old were you, 18? Yeah, I was 18, um, but right through high school, I was... I was in the academy um, mm. at a pretty early age and got a taste of what it was like. Um, 
and the base setup and, and things like that um, mm. from a pretty early age. But then, yeah, coming out of high school, I was lucky enough to get a contract straight out of, straight out of there. And um, yeah, I was involved with the Steamers for about six years. Um, and mm. it was, yeah, it was a pretty cool part of my, my rugby career, yeah. Uh, what, uh, so if you're in the Steamers setup from when you're in high school and then, you know, and then when you got into a sort of a full time pro gig with them, mm. what do you think? Was it that caught like selectors' eyes or first fifteen coaches' eyes when you, was it your pass or your fitness or, um, or what, what are the strengths of your game? You reckon? Yeah, I, I always backed my my fitness um, when I was growing up. Well, I always rated myself in that area. Um, Did you run heaps? Did you used to? Run yeah, I used. To, oh, I actually love running. Eh? Um, most people hate it, but um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love running. Eh? I could I could bloody run for for days but mm. um yeah my my fitness was was one of my strengths as well as uh my passing was was pretty good as well um was that something because yeah i was gonna speak a little bit about your passing game because obviously like again i played with cookie for a fair few years at club in steamers levels so <clears throat> i know uh, I, I rate your pass as one of the best that i've played with so was that something that you work uh, worked on like a lot in your spit like in your on your extras or work ons or d did it come naturally to you because I mean I'm saying this because I guess volleyball is very mm. like hand, like yep. fine motor skills sort of hand eye coordination yep. sort of game yeah. and so is the pass yeah. so is that something that come naturally to you or did you work on it as well nah it was yeah I, th I think that was probably the most natural part of my game was was my passing game um, mm. and like you were saying before um, that kind of kind of transitioned over to volleyball quite well because I was, I was quite wristy Mm. If you can say it like that, oh, you are right. Um, so <laughs> you are right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I had strong <coughs> wrists, so I could. I felt like I could get a pretty good pass away. Um, mm. And yeah, I guess it wasn't so much of a work on, um, but just to try and maintain that, and then try and work on other parts of my game that were hmm, a bit questionable. Yeah, we all got we all, we all got uh, areas that we need to work just on. Call me the gate. <laughs> the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Um, Sweet as so, all right. So you played six years in there. So, uh, well, tell me, what? Why do you reckon it is you loved running? Like, how did you go cross country and that sort of stuff? So, did you do that stuff at school or athletic? Is the athletics days and that? Were you good at the? I yeah. Know, oh, the longer distance stuff or? No. Oh, the shorter distance stuff was. What was, sort of was distance? Okay. Oh, eight hundred. Yeah, back at school, you'd do the like four hundreds and stuff like that, and I just oh, felt like. Um, Cause you did you used to you, you used to hearse the mount too, bro. Mount, yeah, I, I used to for love a long time, mate. Yeah, and it was good, like because that's a, um, like that was probably a weekly, yeah, weekly thing back in the day was to go up the mount probably maybe once or twice a week just to wow. keep that base going. But um, so let's talk about that, bro. Because I reckon <laughs> for people that aren't local to the mount, like I reckon, I like up there, like some of the worst. <laughs> T test you can do I reckon it's like you know you can do yo-yo max out you can do 2k row or ski max out and they're horrific like they like very mentally taxing even mm. before you start but I reckon running up the mount bro just running up the mount yeah there's got to be one of the like mentally like most intense yeah. things because there's so much like head noise going on yeah it's, well I, I know like I've never managed to run the whole way but I've done it for time you know like run walk run walk and locals don't know what I'm talking about, but I know that you can just run the whole thing, bro. Yeah. So, tell me, tell me about like the hardest session you ever done up there in terms, like, because I know you've done it like sometimes you used to do it twice in a row or whatever. Yeah. What, yeah. What's the hardest one you've done? And then, what do you, what sort of time are we looking at from for locals again? Bo bottom of the stone steps, eh? Bottom of the stones. Bottom of the to stone the, steps yeah, to the to the trig. Yeah, to the summit. Um, I guess. Probably the hardest one, it was probably like an academy session back in the day. Um, Carl Axons was, was one of the boys that was doing it as well. It was just going up that four-wheel drive track. Cause that is absolutely so horrific. Steep. steep. Calves are blown out. <laughs> limping all the way up. But yeah, like interval stuff up the mm. four-wheel drive track is, is um, pretty out the gate. Um, in terms of time, poof. One, of my goal, one of my goals was to try and get under get under 10 minutes and I think I was I don't know if that's good or not bro that's <laughs> good <knows>? bro <laughs> unbelievable but yeah that was one of my goals um yeah back in the day and I think I hit like 10 minutes 02 and I just remember I was like real filthy with myself 
<laughs> so gutted that I didn't hit it, eh? And then just, yeah, I think that's, I haven't. It's a peak. Yeah, that, that was my, but yeah, the mount run. If you haven't tried to do it in one go, uh, I don't reckon I'll ever do it again, eh? <laughs> I used to just do it a little bit for rugby. No, if you're actually. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't even run 100 metres at the moment. But, uh, okay, so, oh, that's mean. Um, mm. So, obviously, your fitness, you, your sort of pass is pretty mean. And then, um, so tell me about your. Because I remember, you, yeah, you played six seasons, eh? Yeah, six, six seasons. seasons. Oh, and then you went yeah, six seasons. Um, they're quite injury interrupted seasons. Uh, yeah, well, maybe we should touch on that. So, because yeah. then I, <laughs> all right, let, let's just go through your list. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think I was, yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what, what are the, your what are your major injuries that you picked up from from footy? Ah, uh, so you were, actually during high school, always injured, bro. Yeah, during a high school, I was pretty much injury free, which was which I thought was me, and yeah. then. Hello, come, like, senior stuff, base stuff. I just started getting injured. Is it because you used to come up against the big dogs like old Diesel? Or, is it, you know, big. you, you want to play with boys, you play high school, you want to come and play with old Diesel. <laughs> Got to catch me first. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, I'm joking, I'm not physical at all, but I'm just, was it like, was it coming from boys to men, or what, what is it? Um, or is it, they don't really I don't find, yeah, I don't find, it? like, my first senior club season, I didn't find that, um, too much of a challenge I mean there was some big boys out there but um, I guess that's the biggest shift from first 15 to, to senior rugby is the physicality but it's probably slower though eh? yeah it's definitely slower and I didn't mind that yeah, yeah, um, right. that transition but um, yeah I ended up dislocating and breaking my ankle at oh one of those bro one of those ugly yeah, ones yeah it was like oh like well, this one nah always in another shout out to Singer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same injury as Singer bro, and awesome. Jug has done that Jeff yeah Boyd. Jug has done that for the boys have done that oh Chase I mean, Henry yeah Chase oh, Henry done it the br- oh, shout out to all the boys that snapped their legs <laughs> sideways holy heck yeah she wasn't uh, she wasn't pleasant <coughs> but um was yeah, that was your first was major one first major one first actual broken bone how long actually, rehab and that took about yeah, about nine to ten months to recover from that. And did you? And then I just had ongoing problems from there. Oh, um, did, did it stem from that? Yeah, just like ankle compensation and, stuff. Yeah, it's like stability and range of motion things like that. I still suffer from that, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. injury and like. Is it stiff in that? It's stiff. It stiffens right up and all, that? all the time. And oh. Like, oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, I, um, plays up, eh? I think I get gout in it as well. Just plan <laughs> up. Bro, that's, not, that's not from your rugby, bro. <laughs> that's from those beers and those Canucks. Yes, <laughs> oh, <you Canucks>. <laughs> <laughs> um, But that was probably yeah. That was one of my um, one of my main or worst injuries as well. And then I had a crook back for years. Oh yeah, um, what was that from, bro? I what think that was from lifting. Oh, sorry, that was from um, lifting weights in the gym with with the Bay Boys and the ugly tech. Back, yeah, I think yeah. Just Until yeah, up. before <coughs> Raw, my technique was plan up, mm-hmm. like in terms of movement and stuff like that. So I think back um, back then, yeah, back just blew out. Technique was shite. It's just um, about numbers when you get in the rugby. Yeah, gym, like hard out like, like testing in that. I don't think go quarter <laughs> squat and just put two fifty on uh, there. I don't think so. many S and C coaches worry about your technique back then. They're just mm-hmm. all worried about numbers and stuff yeah. like that. Well, that's how they get measured, eh? Yeah, hard you know, out. for their employment. Yeah, definitely. So it's a bit different. Um, so yeah, back blew out. I was probably it probably took me about three months before I could even start running again after. After my back blew out, because it, it was pretty serious. Hey. Um, was, was it the, the stay in bed ones? Oh, yeah, like prone on the floor, like oh. all day, every day, just trying oh, to trying to let it settle down. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. And then, oh, yuck. I think my, well, the last injury, or oh, bad injury I had was, um, I ripped my, ripped my hammy off the bone, which was pretty Yeah, we, pretty we, spoke, gnarly. we spoke about that a little bit yesterday. T- mm. Talk us through that, because you went, oh, you t- tell us the start of it, because you went from, Steamers, yeah. So overseas, uh, yeah, I uh, I had my yeah done my stint with the steamers. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, that year we got relegated, so it was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, what years did you start? What year did you start steamers, and what year was your last season? Uh so oh eight was my first year. Mm. Um, we had some pretty good, pretty good bay teams. Bro, that's the year, which ages ago. Yeah, yeah. You're old, Court bro. Holy, how old are you? How old are you? Court now? Thirty. 31, 31 yeah, well, now, so bro, that's 2008. Crazy, right? Cause I'm 33 and I started in 2012. <laughs> and you're yeah, and you got like you got like 60 games. I got like 10. Yeah, my but, uh, but my leg didn't go sideways. <laughs> just my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> anyway, that's, a, that's yeah. another story. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, so, so you went over to Sydney, eh? Yeah, 08 was my first year. The Bay, third, oh, 2013 was my last year. And then I went over to playing the Shoot Shield in Aussie. Hmm. Then, um, so what were you doing for Mahi over there? I was doing a little bit of PT stuff, actually. Did they year wasn't too, yeah, it wasn't too, um, oh, like like this kind of setup. Because mm. um, you done, well, oh, well, let, let's just divert a little bit. You, you done, when did you do your PT course and all that? Ah, uh, so that was 2012 at the Bay Plenty Polytech. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I did it through them and then um, kind of took that over to Aussie to, I don't know, I guess to just a bit of a change mm. for me, really. I'd yeah. been around the base setup, around Tauranga for a while. Bit of a homeboy, so I don't really <laughs> get out too much. But, um, mm. yeah, went over there, played a bit of footy. Did you enjoy it? Well, like Because I know you weren't there for a long time because of the injury, but did you enjoy it over in Sydney? I did. I did. I mean, it was, it was pretty daunting for, like, someone... Oh, you know, a homeboy to go over there and yeah. try and try and make a living over there, but um, but it's good for you though. Yeah, it was, it was definitely good, good. You, definitely good. Um, we, we, was was Kiz Black there? Yeah, the house when you were there. <laughs> yeah, fella. Hey. Yeah, but, yeah, oh, where is the fella? Kiza, <laughs> where is the come home, G. Bro, talk about <laughs> bro, talk about hundies they're training in that holy. Bro, shoulders on the man, eh? The angriest, I reckon he's one of the angriest fellas <laughs> we ever played with. But Boulders yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, so you went over there? And yep. Then, so we went no, over there. In, uh, uh, like, because I know you were playing quite good footy, eh, before your injury over there. Uh, on, oh, I don't know if it was good footy. I think it was, uh, um, I was playing okay, hmm. but then after my injury, I think I... Any sniffs of Waratahs or anything like that? Nah, there was that NRC competition that they oh, had, but right. it wasn't, it wasn't too, um, hmm. yeah. I'd got injured before that, is, that kind of kicked off, but, um. I think some of my best footy was when I came back after that injury. Yeah, right. Um, and then we won it in 2015, the Bay Wide. Yeah, that was a pretty, we had a pretty good. Yeah, we had a pretty good, pretty good team that year. Uh, so how long was that? How long were you out in that uh, from that hamstring injury? Oh, so that was a yeah, that was about a 10, 11 month. Bro, t- talk about that um, swing, bro. <laughs> bro, explain it to the to I got to stand up, James. I got to stand yeah, up. Yeah, bro. Go ahead, where you go? Take your headphones off. All right. Oh. So I was, uh, yeah, I was stuck in this position for like three to four months. <laughs> this was, is out the yeah. gate, Fano. <laughs> yeah. I remember this. This fellow had. Oh, so see, yeah, it's see. on this one, yeah. So, so, so he, I was stuck like that for about four months. Actually, couldn't move it. <laughs> and if you're stuck like that, you gotta kind of shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, have a seat for it. Uh, pretty so horrific that one yeah he had a sling over his shoulder that <laughs> held his ankle to be in contact with his ass for like three three four months eh, bro? yeah about three four months and because they stapled his hammy back onto the bone yeah and it had to yeah had to obviously had to heal in that position um yeah for that long and it was uh, that's crazy it bro. was pretty uncomfortable trying to sleep did you get like one of those scooters after a while no nah, like just just i just went straight to um to some crutches yeah um but they're yeah the recovery from that was pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Oh, yeah, but your while. um, your back and well, it's pretty good now. Like, yep. you can so, yeah, so squat pretty mean and deadlift pretty mean in that now. Yeah, and that's that's probably the key thing is I uh, I kind of know like know my body pretty well now. Yeah. Um, and I know how to where your limits are. Yeah, where my limits are. Like, obviously, I think Kaz and Kepa touched on it the other day. Was like if I if I knew what I knew back then that I know now, you know. <laughs> I definitely would have done all my bloody rehab, <laughs> my prehab, because I'm definitely suffering from Did it you, now. Bro, because I remember, like, just to touch a little bit more on your career, because you, you spent a few prisons over at Chiefs, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it, <laughs> it was a, how did you go over the hill? So I, yeah, I... You must have blitzed them in terms of, like, me and you played, fitness and that. Me and you played in a few development teams, I think. Chiefs oh, development, yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. And then I think it was maybe the end of 2012, 2011. No, nah, 2012. Yeah, I you're got, pretty close there, are you? Yeah, I got um, brought over because I think they had a few injuries with like, I was like it. Brendan Leonard and Tawira. And mm. So I was lucky enough to, oh, first Wayne Smith came over and had a, had a little chat and then, um, oh, he's the best coach ever. He's, but he's the unreal, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's what was, so but what anyway, was that environment like for you, bro? Could just been a it was pretty, um, like, to be boy, honest, boy. bro, yeah, I was... Um, it was pretty daunting. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't know, like... You other fellas, yourself? Other fellas, yeah, other fellas just lap it up, eh? But when I was there, I was just... I think I was just too, you know... 
starstruck to be honest yeah, yeah, like, there's just all these big dogs around Hi. um but i do remember one training session over the area um this was the season after they had won it oh and, and, they were, and then they were going for back to back oh that's right yeah. 13 they won yeah, 13, 13, 14, they, or something? 12 and 13. Oh, 12, 13 yeah, right. um, one of the training sessions eh, it was absolutely rubbish and i was like hey is this the chiefs <laughs> hey. but like, they're, like honestly they're just like dropping balls and and things like that but like when they Obviously, they just know how to, you know, flick a, flick switch, a switch. And yeah. as soon as they hit that field, man, far up. Who they just was, uh, absolutely guns. Oh, that, that was an unreal team back then. Yeah, they had a pretty good team. Like, they had what, pack what, was, Kahui and stuff like that. And yeah. Oh, Sammy and them were over there. And, yeah, Sammy, mm. Schwalg, Mahoney yeah, yeah, Schwalg. Yeah, yeah. But they were, yeah. Hunger. That's just one thing that sticks out to me with, you yeah, going over there was <laughs> how shite that training was, but then the ability to, to flick a switch and just... Yeah. Bang. Yeah, bro. Just gun it. Hard out. Um, but yeah, I was, yeah, it was a, it was a wicked experience. Mm. Um, learned a shite load over there, but mm. um, just that step up, I think, is just another level. Those guys are just out the gate. Right. And so um, now, like, you haven't played. Oh, how long, how long since you played footy? Now, a couple of years. A couple of years, yeah. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna jump back in soon, eh? Yes. Oh, you not going What are you? Oh, I haven't finished. Bro. No, that's us. Oh, Adam. Oh, here we go. Yo, uh, yeah, bees. It's <laughs> Adam. So let's go. <laughs> uh, so now that you've sort of finished up the last couple of years, I know you don't do. Well, you don't really run anymore, eh, bro. Like, unless um, it's in the workout or whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, I've tried then, to or? ease back on that and just just focus on other kind of areas of of the gym and other things I think I need to work on, but. Um, your, yeah, so like, your, like your favourite stuff thing at the moment probably the ski, yeah? Yep, so I'm loving the ski at the moment. Um, so walk us through that, bro. What What is it about the ski or the Concept 2 eggs that, that mm. interest you? And um, to, Yeah, just tell us why, why why you're so into it, bro. I just... So in terms of the ski, anyway, um, I relate that quite, um, quite closely to running. Just that standing up motion, not sitting down, not hunched over, anything like that. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I feel I've... I feel like I'm best when my lungs are like quite open. quite open mm. and things like that. Um, so that's why I love the ski. Um, and just in terms of like the eggs in general, way they're like they're pretty low impact on the body. So like Hard. any injuries like that that you have um, that niggle you or whatever, you jump on the rower or the ski or even like the bike egg, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're just really good to like keep that that base up there without you know too much too much impact on the body. So. Um, that's exactly that's the same what, as me. That's what I like, yep. bro. Just a low impact. Yeah. Don't have to worry about knees, ankles. No, like yeah, knees, no knees, nothing. no bloody shoulders, bloody yeah, ankles right. or whatever. And what about the? Because um, I know a big one for you, bro, is the mental side of it. Like you, you like to yeah. you do the tank. You're sort of like axe in that way. Yeah, you know, I like. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, yeah, quite similar to axe actually in the way that you know you've got to work hard to you know see any benefits out of your training. Us, so it's just gonna. Yeah. Mm. it's just going to be for well, it's going to be no good so um i like to try and push myself pretty much every session they eh? like mm. you'll see me after a bloody session <laughs> just lying on the ground everyone else is talking i'm like why the hell is everyone talking yeah, it grinds me right <laughs> <laughs> well I'm there's, just on there's, the there's like a there's a time there's a training time or like education behind it bro oh. like i spoke about with x's like when they come, when there's ex footy players or ex athletes, and they come in here, like they have they have a better understanding yep. of wh where their edge is, yep. Yep. and so like, well, some of them don't, look, bro. Like Brendan, he knows how to enter the oh, team. He, yeah, he, and he some of them just get it, you know. Yeah, I think it was ingrained in us, like from our footy days, like mm. like when we seven thirty on a Tuesday, Thursday night, pissing down with rain, yeah. you know, and we're like d out there bloody doing my fifties and stuff yeah. like that. Like, I think we just yeah, we just get how to try and you know push our bodies to the max um mm. every time and like obviously transitioning it over to the gym was <clears throat> it's quite easy for us where we can put our bodies i don't know in that place of mm. <laughs> all those dark places it's, uh, you know oh bro 100 like percent mm. um and so what do, what goes through your mind bro let's say like let's go back to last week we had a 30 minute time trial mm. um you know for like from my experience with that sort of stuff it sort of get to i get to a point I don't know, it's probably around like 90% heart rate or something, yeah. max heart rate, where you, like, you can't, you can't really get any more tired or nah. more exhausted, so nah. you can sort of go numb to it, Yeah. and then, like, so you Definitely. can just keep going, yep. but it's something weird, bro, mm. like, do, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? Do yep. you get that feeling? I think, yeah, you just, your body just gets to a point where it's just like, well, 
this is where we're this at. is where we're at <laughs> you just got to keep going until the time's done yeah. um but i like yeah sessions like that i kind of try and break them up as much as i can just so it's not yeah. so like so daunting for you do you do you um, run the maths on the in your brain while you're doing it yeah like uh, percentage um, how much percentage you've done <laughs> what your splits are yeah it's pretty like it's pretty easy with the monitors and things like that you can see the yeah. projected meters and stuff like that like you'll try to stick them stick to them as much as you can but um yeah when you're in that state you just your mind just shuts off <laughs> and you're just you're an autopilot just hearsing it yeah trying to go Bro, I know that you like one of, one of your strengths is your coaching. Coaching is like really trying to make sure people in the session are uh, being energetic and like attacking mm. their session. You know, so yeah. you're always on at them and like trying to trying to get them going. Yeah. So, what's a um, like a piece of advice you think for for people that come into raw or functional training or or erg training? Like what what sort of approach would you like people to think about or or take? home with them after watching this you know when they when they're about to get on the roll or on the ski or whatever try not to overthink it too much just take it for what it is try and push yourself like i love people like pushing themselves and things like that um that's i get the kick out of that um the most though but we can no, that's pretty mean <laughs> it, well, it's all it really comes down to is just um, like just having a go eh? yeah just having a go um like no one's gonna like talk down about you or anything like that like mm. all the members here are pretty embracing and they mm. they love people just pushing themselves trying their hardest and things like that and um huh. and that's what you know us as coaches love as well like yeah, we i'd rather see you yeah like I'd, i love seeing people just on the floor um just gas absolutely gasping for air because yeah. that's what you know that's what gives me a little bit of a kick as well because yeah, like, they've done their best yeah, they've done their best and like that drives me as well to you know to to be my best as well yeah um and 100 percent. okay for for locals to the mount and uh for people that are online what uh what sessions do you usually coach bro um so i'm i'm wednesday sessions mm. i'm currently trying to program um all the sessions at the moment so and we're basing it off that 30 yeah minute, we're eh? basing it off that 30 minutes so if you didn't do that bloody 30 minutes <laughs> you'll be doing it <laughs> no way of getting out of it <laughs> there's a one and uh okay uh, bro tell us about just quickly before we wrap it up what's your big uh, event happening in september in september um i'm gonna i'm gonna aim to try and do a 100k ski Yo, um, that's cool. and there's a there's a, yeah there's a pretty big reason behind it mm -hmm. um those closest to me um know what it's about but mm. uh yeah coming up in september i'm gonna try and <laughs> complete 100k ski so work it i guess this, this is my uh <laughs> my way of, of being accountable for yeah. with that or you guys oh, keeping me accountable one up on your <laughs> nah, yeah, but yeah so it'll be a pretty massive event um something pretty close to our hearts mm. um coming up in september so yeah, yeah we'll see how we go um, we'll obviously for those of you that have done a 2k <laughs> ski you know how horrific it is you've done a 5k ski you know just as bad but it's all relative i guess in terms of intensity mm. but you know when you start to get past 10k <laughs> past an hour it's uh it's pretty horrible and i'm just probably all i can think about is the blisters part eh? I, I, I reckon, not so much the blisters what, what, i reckon it was um do you reckon your hands will shut up like your no nah, not my hands like i'll probably wear gloves during it to be uh, yeah, um yeah. but that's gross yeah that's gross <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that guy no, that no, wore gloves the man on the puts ski, gloves on for pull-ups, but <laughs> no, all good. Yeah, so I think it was, no, it was more like my feet get really numb after. Numb, bro, yeah. Numb, real Pins numb. and needles yeah, and stuff. Pins hey. and needles, like, can't feel them. You're wondering if you've bloody but got toes. That's a feet. question for Jane Erbacher. <laughs> what, why do your feet get numb? And small, why do you get pins and needles when you're on cuffs. a ski for a while? Yeah, maybe it's that. Does that happen to anybody else? Let us know in the comments. Um... <laughs> But yeah, do you want to go yeah into a little bit more detail about what the the hundred k is about, bro? Um, yeah, I guess because we can plug it, bro, and then make a bit of an event yeah. out of it, and you know you're I'd gonna need some yeah, like you're Kelly, gonna need some support there, yeah, bro. Sorry, Kelly's yeah. my partner. <laughs> but um, yeah, last year my my sister decided to um <clears throat> yeah do the unthinkable and yeah take her own life, and I guess. September's a pretty significant uh, month anyway because um, I think it's suicide prevention 
uh, month in mm. September, and it's also her her birthday as well on the 25th, which is mm. I've kind of looked it up, and the 25th is a Saturday this year, which is probably pretty good timing, which will be unreal. Um, oh, I'll throw it out there, like gonna try and raise a little bit of awareness around that stuff anyway. Like it's pretty new to our whānau anyway, this mm. kind of thing, and um, I think you know doing something positive in terms of I know raising awareness or trying to you know raise a little bit of money towards this cause oh, bro. um right. it would be pretty awesome i mean i only i chose the 100k because obviously i think um it's a pretty daunting um pretty daunting thing uh when you think about it sure um and like those are when you know the mental kind of games start to kick in with distances 100%. that long and and stuff like that and um i kind of relate it back to so maybe Tyler's situation and the you know the things that she was going mentally and, th- and things like that and mm. I'm tr- just trying to relate it back to that and um, keeping things on the inside um, mm. those mental battles that she faced and obviously the hundred k is going to be a bloody mental battle as well cool. so I'm going to try and uh, yeah try and attempt that in September so which will bro, that's be a pretty rough top. but we'll, we'll see how we go ten k Sundays if anyone's keen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cook comes in. You know, it doesn't invite usually <laughs> invite anyone else about the TMK Sundays. But if you want to jump alongside him, but I think um, you know, I, d- I didn't know a lot about the hundred K. I, I, kn- I knew it would add something to do. Um, mm. You know, add a bit of background behind it. But y- you know that the Raw Fano is going to get behind you for that, and we'll be um, plugging it as hard as we can up until that time, and yeah. we'll, we'll tow talk all you know day and co-popper that you're all about bro and That's solid. i know that we're gonna you know we're gonna have to put in some mileage before <laughs> oh, that date to get it to I, get in yeah. that shape but i kind of try to plan it out the other day and holy bro, what sort of what, what sort of time do you think it's going to take to get that done ah uh, so did the bro brick red do that has he done 100 k? i don't ski? think he's done 100 k what did he do i think the or 50k or yeah, something. 50s yeah right. around so i did a marathon back in in lockdown mm. and that took just under three hours so do you reckon so around about hours, eight hours nah about eight or nine Ooh. on the ski yeah. what sort of pace probably, probably looking at around 215 yeah, um, right. like i obviously want to um get the 100k done but i also want to try and do it in you know in a decent time just so that it's not like yeah it's just yeah, doing it for doing it yeah, yeah. doing it for, um but try and set a good time yeah try and get it done uh, those are the main goals but yeah, bloody. Any advice out there, all you bloody endurance <laughs> athletes? Let me know. Yeah, maybe, well, I'll need I'll, it. I reckon. Uh, well, I'll, just to put it out there, I reckon I'll tag uh, in in this clip. I'll um, tag on for Jason Marshall, James Hall, James Hall. Yep, James Hall. Garage uh, athlete. Garage athlete. J- J- Justin Farina. Mm. Big Red, <laughs> um, bro, the the boys at 98. Bro, the pros will do it in like bloody five hours. Nah, <laughs> oh, bro, 100k is a big ass. So, um, yeah, I'll make sure that these guys raise a little bit of awareness around it for you as well as we go, you know, closer to the time. And then also, I think on the day, bro, we'll probably line up maybe a ski next to you and get the, the rest of the squad, you know, Oof. ticking along next to you. Yeah, no, that'll be Just cool. Yeah. Visit, yeah, any bro. support, any, yeah. like you any support. You can't be in there by yourself, bro. There's no I'm just going to shut off, <laughs> yeah. glasses on, eyes closed. Just, <laughs> just put a tape over your eyes, <laughs> you can't see the Don't monitor. even see the screen, just go. Silence on the headphone. <laughs> yeah, um, but that'll be awesome, like, if I can, yeah, oh, if I can bro. achieve that, that'll be, I'll be pretty proud of that so bro, that's, um, that'll be a mean effort and i'll definitely be next to you bro probably not 100k but i'll, <laughs> I'll get a few k's on the board there for you my bro yeah. so all my drinking mates leave me alone i'm out of the game for for nine months <laughs> i drink <laughs> um all right okay well i think we'll, we can leave it there bro do you want to introduce uh oh, your little come daughter here, down here oops come on come on hey, darling. come up here come on introduce her <laughs> bro it cracks me up how you oh. sit it like this Say hi. <laughs> so this is Ruby Pro Duke. <laughs> I'm sure she just started talking now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is uh, <laughs> it's the video podcast or the podcast for today, you guys. Uh, really appreciate the bro and the coach, uh, Josh Hall, coming in to have a chat with us a little bit about his background, what he's got planned for 2021, his uh, advice on mindset stuff, cause, which is he's obviously got a lot of mental resilience um, when it comes to not just athletics, but also you know stuff that happens at home, bro. And I, I really, uh, really admire you for a lot of the stuff that you do there, um, and appreciate all the work that you put in for 
for the crew here at Raw. So, uh, any closing words, bro, before we shut it down? Nah, we good, bruss. All right. We good. Nah, um, shout out to the Raw phone note. Yo, wicked. Let's go. Wicked. All right, shop guys, <laughs> thanks for listening in. Yeah,